What's going on my fellow Jedi and Padawans? Welcome back to another Jedi Gaming video. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel and if you guys are new, welcome, welcome. Today we are talking about the Graviton Forfeit Exotic Helmet for our Hunter. A very, very useful, easy exotic for beginners to grab as well as those veteran players to pull out of their vault for some nice increased time for invisibility and with this build seems like we got volatility and invisibility up almost consistently with some pretty good survivability on top of that so let's get into this build for our void hunter hopefully y'all enjoy this classic exotic helmet right here starting us off inside of our abilities aspects and fragments we got shadow shot you can use mobius quiver or deadfall totally totally up to you in the gameplay was using mobius quiver but like i said deadfall definitely lasts a little bit longer than this but shadow shot with the mobius quiver is better with damage now for our abilities i'm using marksman dodge triple jump snare bomb and vortex pretty much all my void pve builds use vortex grenades one of the best in general a void wall is also very good now for our aspects i personally went with a vanishing step and stylus executioner vanishing step dodging makes us invisible this lasts a nice a little while especially with graviton a forfeit on giving us that increased of invisibility from the helmet so we can dodge last about 12 seconds now we have stylus executioner so defeating those weakened suppressed or volatile targets grants invisibility and true sight after we perform a stylus execution your next melee attack while invisible weakens targets so uh, we're gonna have that being able to be procced very 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 often since we're gonna have invisibility Proct consistently, mostly because of Stylus Executioner, but also Vanishing Step and Volatile Rounds is going to be flowing. So, invisibility as well as volatility is absolutely crazy with this build, as you saw a little bit at the beginning in the gameplay, and you will see at the end as well. Moving on to our Void Fragments, Echo of Persistence. This does stack with Graviton Forfeit, allowing for that invisibility overshield devour to have increased duration, specifically the invisibility with Graviton Forfeit, but definitely essential for this build if you're looking to have it be up consistently and have that super, super long invisibility timer. Now, Echo of Remnants, so our Void Grenade has increased duration, so we can absolutely just spam it and do some nice damage with it as well. Grenades on those final blows grant volatile rounds to our Void Weapons. Very important, we're having a very fun set of weapons inside of our Exotic as well as our two Legendaries. So, those volatile rounds flowing as well as helping us to proc Stylus X executioner and finally echo of starvation picking up a void breach or orb of power grants us devour which again we're gonna have overshield invisibility and devour with this build so echo of persistence is going to help with all three of those for sure and it is noticeable moving on to our weapons right here taking it to a new grenade launcher wave frame stasis in our kinetic slot from ghost of the deep dungeon new specific epitaph with perpetual motion and collective action looking for a little bit better roll but that collective action when we're picking up the void breach is going to give us a little damage boost heroes burden with feeding frenzy destabilizing rounds easy to spread that volatility even when we don't have volatile rounds allowing us to proc status executioner very very often and then the two-tailed fox so we're going to be able to scorch jolt as well as create volatility with this so very very good rocket for damage as well as just general ad clear so i threw this on and it seems to pair very well with this build in general 
Now, kind of like I stated at the very beginning, Graviton Forfeit is a trusty, dusty helmet that everybody can use. New Lights get it from that nice Ikora quest, as well as veterans probably have a nice juicer roll stashed away in the vault, and it is very useful, especially in seasons when our artifact looks like this. So specifically, we're using that authorized avoid mods and our three right here in the middle onto the Breach, Protective Breach, and Supernova, picking up avoid breach causes our next target to be hit by void damage to create a weakening pulse so that'll help us one to proc stylus executioner on those weakening pulse defeats and onto the breach will also be procced because defeating void debuff targets creates void breaches so this will also be from those destabilizing rounds as well as those volatile rounds from our weapons and then picking up that void breach gives us an overshield or refreshes our overshield so picking up void breaches are going to give us not only an overshield but also devour and when we go invisible like i said echo of persistence is allowing all three of those to have an extended duration so it is kind of crazy how long those seem to last with echo of persistence as well as our exotic helmet which we will cover here in just a moment the old trusty dusty in graviton forfeit right here vanishing shadow increase the duration of any invisibility effects while you are invisible our melee recharge is faster our reload is faster and our recovery is greatly increased one of the reasons that my recovery is only 18 but nobody's talking about that, okay? It's all about the helmet and the crazy amount of overshield, devour, and invisibility that we can get with this helm. Now, for our mods that were thrown on the Graviton Forfeit Dynamo, reduce super when using our class ability near targets. We're getting our dodge back pretty quickly with this build and using it often to go invisible. So, nice little way to get our quiver back or our shadow shot, I should say, depending on what you're using, deadfall or quiver. Now, we're also gonna be using heavy ammo finder for that nice two-tailed fox and void siphon right here. So our SMG as well as two-tailed fox are gonna create orbs of power for us, which we can use again for that devour, as well as to get our super back a little bit faster. Now, when we move on to our arms right here, bolstering detonation, momentum transfer. So glad that they are back enabled because they are very, very nice for this build. We're going to be using Grantless class ability when causing damage with a grenade. And then causing damage with a grenade also gives us our melee back. And we're going to be using that melee to weaken. So it's a nice little positive feedback loop for both of those, as well as helping us to proc stylish execution then firepower we're gonna be getting those grenade defeats to cause orbs of power to drop so we can use those for armor charge and devour with this build as well now on our chest piece concussive dampener arc resistance you can switch this out for sniper melee or you can switch this arc out for any of our other burns void stasis arc anything like that and then harmonic reserves right here so our void weapons specifically our two-tailed fox is going to have a nice extra shot with it which just makes it that much better now when we move on to our legs picking up orbs of power that we're creating via void siphon or our firepower right here is going to give us our class ability so we're going to be able to dodge like i said very often allowing for that invisibility to stay up almost consistently and like you see at the gameplay at the beginning and in a second here it seems to last forever now we're going to have double void weapon surge on for that armor charge so our two-tailed fox as well as hero's burden it's going to do a nice little bit more damage stacking right there with both of them so it just allows for a more potent build if you will for that end game raids gms or even like just master strikes so definitely a nice little addition to it 
Time dilation on our class item right here, helping for this to last even longer, as well as distribution and bomber. So when we do dodge, we're going to get our grenade back, as well as all of our abilities, grenade, melee, and a dodge. So a nice positive feedback loop between our class item, as well as what we have on our arms, allowing for a nice ability spam and creating volatile rounds for us, going invisible, creating void breaches, as well as devour with all of that so it is a very very fun build i'm also a big nerd for wave frame grenade launchers so that nice grenade launcher in a new specific epitaph from the ghost of the deep dungeon just seems to hit right for me so definitely need to try this build out especially in a void season like this it's gonna be an s plus plus build but normally this is a trusty dusty that's why bungie gave it to us for that new light quest in ikora so definitely pull this out veterans if you got a nice juicer roll new light players this is a very fun easy build for everybody to use with near infinite invisibility that lasts darn near 20 seconds so thank you guys again for the support y'all have been absolutely killing it and don't forget to hit that subscribe bell join the discord so you don't miss out on any of these builds god roll guides live streams anything like that so i appreciate the support again i will catch all y'all in the next one peace